Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I kind of wanted to walk you guys through the products I used to grow my hair and kind of do a review slash tips video. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, then please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a little comment down below to let me know how you feel about my videos and if you like for me to review any product. Let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I started my hair growth journey a couple of years ago, right when quarantine hit, I was like, what can I do? How can I measure time now that we're home, not really going out or doing anything? And so I decided to dedicate myself to really grow my hair. And so I went to Google and started to look up different things that I could do to grow my hair. So there was like the rice water treatments, there's castor oil, scalp massages, all the things. And so I've tried hair growth vitamins before and they didn't really work. But I want to say that I think I found a hair line or a hair growth line that really truly works. Is the Curlsmith scalp recipe line. The line is made off of the scalp stimulating booster, which is this one right here. It also has a full length and density elixir. And then you have the ultimate length 30 day treatment. So the elixir is another liquid form type of treatment. And then the 30 day treatment is pills. So it is the vitamins that you take in. The packaging says that you need to use it for a total of three months in order to see any, if any, results. But I can say that I started to see results from month one. As soon as I washed my hair, because it's easier to measure your hair growth when your hair is wet versus when it's dry because of shrinkage. For us curly hair girls, it's easier to see it when it's wet. So as soon as I did the first wash, I could immediately tell that my hair was growing. So I want to say that this line has really helped me and I wanted to get into a little more detail on each product. So the scalp stimulating booster, you use this in the morning. It is a liquid and basically you put it directly onto your root or your scalp. You can do this as soon as you wake up in the morning, before you make your coffee, when you're washing your face, kind of incorporate it into that, brushing your teeth. Or you can do it right before you walk out of the door. You can massage it into your hair. I will say that it dries really quickly, so it's not like your hair is going to look all wet and greasy. It is also a liquid. It's not a grease. It's not an oil. So it doesn't... It's just liquid. It'll literally dry and it feels kind of like a leave-in conditioner if I needed to give it a texture, but it just dries. You can see my hair, is, my hand is not shiny. It's just dry. So it won't leave your scalp looking oily if you are on the oily side. I will say the elixir looks a little bit more like an oil consistency, but it's not. It also dries really quickly. The elixir you wear it at night right before you go to bed again you apply it directly onto your scalp and you just massage it in for a few seconds and then you just go to bed and it'll be dry by the time you wake up and then you do the booster the pills you're supposed to take two a day with food the boxes come with 30 days at a time but you're supposed to do it for 90 days in order to see the results let's get into the pricing for these products so if you buy the three-step routine, you will be spending about $86 on the Carlsmith website. The stimulating booster is about $27. The full-length elixir is $39. This is the most expensive product out of the entire line. And the Ultima Length 30-day is $29.99. So if you're trying to do the three months and you're committed to doing it, I will definitely just buy the bundle because you do save a couple dollars that way. And you do get all the products together so that way you know you have everything you need. But if you want to buy them individually, like if you run out of one product at a time, then you can also do that. These, uh, the boosters and the elixir that only last me 30 days. I know some people say it has lasted them longer, but for me, it only lasted me 30 days. And basically, it has a blend of guaragana extract, ginger, and needle dragon fruit, soybean, 
pea sprout, and it also has biotin, collagen. So it is really, really good for your hair. In my experience, I did do a significant growth on my hair, and my hair has continued to grow and thrive ever since I've been using these products. I do not use them all the time. I do tend to use them on and off. So ever since I last had the pills, it's been about seven months. But I do, like I said, continue to see a growth on my hair. And also, when I did get my hair cut last year, I get my hair cut once a year. I, they did cut a lot of hair off. And within a couple months, the hair had grown back to the same length I had right before I went into the salon. So I will say it also helped to continue the hair growth. It's not like you stop taking them and then your hair stops growing. I think it kind of stimulates those hair growth follicles and it pushes your hair to grow more. These are products I definitely recommend, but I also wanted to give you guys some tips that I used when I was in the transition of growing my hair, things that I feel helped for me to grow my hair. And because I don't think it's a magic product, I think you do have to take really good care of your hair for your hair to grow and to continue to grow. So relying 100% on a product that claims hair growth is not necessarily what I'm about. I want to do everything I can to help my hair grow. So a few things I did is that I don't wash my hair more than once a week. If I can, I avoid washing it more than once every seven days. I go a, a full week, full seven days without washing my hair. When I do wash my hair, I avoid washing it with hot water. I try to use lukewarm water. Sometimes I even do a cold water rinse because that really does keep the moisture and hydration in the hair. Also deep conditioning does really help to nourish your hair. You can also look for a deep conditioner that's targeted towards hair repair or hair like balancing uh, the, chem the chemicals in your hair, you know, so you can always go towards that. I did a repairing treatment, um, which is from the same blue line from Curlsmith. That's one of my most favorite hair treatments that I've ever tried and it is on a video that I made with my go-to wash day products. I will link the video up here so if you would like to watch it go right ahead. And then another very very important thing that I've been a little more lax on ever since my hair has gotten longer is letting your hair be. Not doing too many updos, not doing too many buns, not doing too many braids, not doing too many protective styles. I know a lot of people swear by protective styles and, and say that protective styles do help with hair growth. But in my experience, I think it does quite the opposite. So I like to just, if I'm dedicating to, to growing my hair, I just let my hair be. I don't try to force it with protective styles. I don't do too many buns. I don't do too many updos. I don't do too many ponytails. I literally just let my hair be, let it be down and just grow it. And now that it's long enough and it's to my liking, now I'm a little more lax with that rule. And I do do a lot of braids, a lot of updos, buns and all of that. But I just wanted to put that out there that it's not only the product, but also what you do with your hair. And if you would like to purchase these products, I will link them all down below so that you guys can go and see them for yourselves. You can see here the before and afters of my hair and how it really truly grew. And so if you would like to try them, I highly, highly recommend them and I think they are really good products. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one.